Hi Jammers and welcome back to another one of my videos. This is me, the Moon's Mask, and I have a penguin in my den. The penguin's name is Respect the Women 8. No, it was Real Men Respect the Women 8. Nice. I appreciate someone putting their username as that. Now, today I'm going to do a part 2 of the journey book. I am going to do... Not that one. Not that one. I'm going to do Mount Shavir. So, let's hop right into it. Mount Shavir, here we come. That's not me saying that. Now, the first thing we're going to find is the bluebells, or the, no, the Himalayan poppy. Nice. Himalayan poppy is growing right down here past the Kokoa Shack. I think I said that right. The puppies are here, and the Himalayan poppy is right next to them. Now, it doesn't move, which surprises me. I thought they had legs. Sarcasm. I can't really do it. Nice, so I have to state that I'm using sarcasm. Yeah. Well, the next um, item is the juniper, the juniper tree. And the juniper tree is right here. Now, you can go around, and you might think there's a juniper tree on the other side of the like spa thing but there isn't like it doesn't work there so you'll have to click it here next to the puppies next to the cacao shack and the steaming hot spa thing yeah so that's the tree next thing on our list is the slate this uh, the slate is oh there's a there's another person Oh, they must have changed. I thought it was the same. Anyway, here's the slate. The slate's right near the bridge to Belush and between the corner, between the Kukawa Shack. It's right here and the next item is the permafrost. The permafrost is right here. It just sits there, like me. It's like, just like me just sits there there it is and now for the red panda I think this is the most adorable animal in all of the journey book the red panda climbs up the tree the bamboo stalk and it will just hang there for a few minutes being super cute oh and then I don't like that bit because it looks like it just fell off which is not very nice. Now, the next animal we're going to find is the partridge. And no, it's not in a pear tree. It actually just sits on a rock, which is kind of disappointing, in my opinion. And as you just saw, it just flutters up the mountain with its little chick. And it just sits there. Just sits there. Now, the next animal is the animals, because there's more than one is the three yak. The three yak are up near the fire and up near gem breaker. If you look directly ahead you can see the three yak. Sometimes you can't see them because a snowstorm comes along and just makes it completely impossible to see them. So I guess they're the moving creature. Why is it following me? The tiger is following me. You think I don't know who you are? Well, then you should have changed your username. Okay, now the next animal we're going to find is this lemming. Lemming. Only if it was lamington. Running lamington with legs. That would be nice. Now the lemming is up. This light probably won't be here when you watch this video because you might watch this video not in winter. Wow, great wording. The moon's mask. Your favourite YouTuber. I can't speak English. Now, the lemming will usually climb up from here and will just sit there perched on the ice looking quite adorable. Obviously not as adorable as the red panda. But then it will climb down into the hole. And there it is. Sniffing the air like someone's farted or something. Well, look. And then it will disappear. 
down the hall or scurry across. Let us watch nature. Down the hall. Now, the next creature we're going to find is the gold, because gold is a creature. Now, it's not a creature, but yeah. So, the gold is actually here with all the red flowers. I think they're. Okay, I don't know what they are. I can't even guess. Are they poppies or something? Are they just leaves put together? If you have a theory on what these flowers are, or just a random guess, I'd love to hear it. Please put it down in the comments. Now, the gold is right here running along the wall, and it's pretty hard to get. Like, my mouse won't work, or it's just... It's... It's either just my mouse or it just is hard to get. Now, my tip for this is to come up near the top and look down at it and try and click it then. Because otherwise, you'll just go straight into Crystal Sands if it's not working. So, if you go up the top and you click it, then at least you've got a chance to not go into Crystal Sands. Now, the next animal is the mountain, oh, okay, it has a funny name, a special name, Himalayan tar, Himalayan tar, which you can find up here near this mountain poster. This usually won't be here, so let's just sit on top of it because it's, n there's nothing there. Okay, and it will usually jump up from there and keep jumping up. I'll pause it so you don't have to suffer with me. And there it is. And yes, I did move down here. It came up from the crack and it's jumping up and up. I moved down here because there's a tiger up there. The penguin person has turned into a tiger. And so the Himalayan tahar, tar jumps up and up and it will just disappear like eventually whoops sorry I keep clicking name tags I think I'll just keep jumping until it reaches the top and it jumps out of sight that's a possibility yeah that's exactly what just happened that sounded like not my voice anyway now we're gonna find the hawk moth you can find the hawk moth let's take the fun slippery dip down because why would you bother walking Yay. Now, the moth usually comes out from... What is down there? The crystal sands. The cri crystal sands. It usually just flies out from there like it's, you know, been there, done that, and it will come out and say hi to us and fly across. Let's just wait. Ah, the moth just flew out from there. And it's coming up here. You'll have to be quick to catch it, even though it looks like it's going really slowly. It flies up there, and it it flies up there and goes back down. Sorry, my thing just glitched out entirely, and I lost track of... No, my internet went out. Sorry, I'm having some real, really bad Wi-Fi connection problems lately. And sorry, but I just realized this was really creepy. This is creeping me out. There's actually a picture of that. So yeah, the, emblem, the hawk moth flies out, flies back in, and it's done just like that. Have we got any more? No, we haven't. Anyway, the prize for getting all of these is our cute red panda plushie. It's really nothing special. It's like your normal plushie, except for it's a red panda plushie. Yeah, you can just sit on my microphone. That's just fine. So, yeah. Thank you for watching my video on the journey book guide of Mount Shivia. If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, share the video with friends, and make sure to hit that notification bell. If you thought this video was helpful, please tell me down in the not um not the notification, the comment section below. It would be really helpful to see what you guys think. Now, next video I'll, I'll 
be doing another one of these. I think I'll be doing... I'm not sure if it was Belouche or some, the Crystal Sands. I don't know, I'll probably do the Crystal Sands because it's easier and, you know, yeah. So thanks for watching. This is the Moon's Mask here and I'm wishing you a good weekend. Bye.